Hello everyone and welcome to my let's play of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. That's right. Now before I before I go ahead and click this and start, I want to talk a little bit about this. And I wanted to apologize for the Ghost Recon incident. I know there was a let's vote for that and and I messed up. I I got I I, sh I should have made sure that the games I picked that the games that I put up in my let's vote were games I'm sure I would have played through. And it turned out Ghost Freak and I got too bored with. But that, I believe, won't be the case here. I'm pretty certain I'm going to play through this entire game. The main game, all the side quests, and the very final uh, qu the very final part of the game, too. I went ahead and bought all the, uh, all the additions to the game. So the full game is here. Also, I decided not to play Final Fantasy IV... Not to, not to do a Final Fantasy IV Let's Play because... I figured that the majority of those who were interested in this Let's Play have probably already played Final Fantasy IV, and I could always do Final Fantasy IV in the future for a Let's Play. And another reason, and, and I wanted to mention that I, the reason I believe that I can play through this game, the entire thing, is because I'm such a big fan of Final Fantasy IV. I, I still play Final Fantasy IV. Every couple of years, I find myself going back and beating it again. So I, I can't help myself. It's just crazy nostalgia. Alright, now, had to do a little audio sync. Oh, also, the way this is going to work is, since this is an RPG and the game is quite long, I can't put video footage for the entire game. Um, so, I'm going to videotape everything I do, but I'm going to do a lot of editing, take out a lot of things that are, that are unnecessary. Like, when I go grinding, when I'm sitting there beating monsters over and over again to level up, you're not going to see the majority of those battles, a large majority of those battles. Uh, I am going to show you every battle in the game. I mean, I'm, I mean, every creature, every enemy in the game. You're going to see. You're going to see the the most important parts. You're going to see everything that have, that has to do with the story. Um, every little conversation I have, you're going to see it. Okay, I'm making sure of that. I'm also making sure that you're going to see when I visit a town, buy something new. Um, all the pretty much the only thing I'm going to be taking out is the grinding. Uh, that's what I figure. And uh, it'll make things a whole lot easier for all of us. Uh, for me and for you. So let's go ahead and start here. New game. Long ago this blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, and time inexorably marched on. The day of departure has arrived for the heir of the Holy Paladin. I love this music. In the skies above the airship, two moons float up a listless thing. One ominously growing ever larger. Why has the star Carbinger returned? A new destiny has begun to unfold, and yet, as always, the crystals brim with silent light. I hope I said that well. I mean, I felt, I felt that music just filled me up with drama. I couldn't help myself. And doesn't this look familiar? Oh, and this is a blind Let's Play, by the way. I, I mean, I played the very beginning of the game to do some test recording and make sure everything's working right, but other than that, this is going to be totally blind. Captain Biggs, the Adamant Isle is in sight. Very good. You don't look well, Prince Eudor. Uh, I can tell you're nervous about this. It is your first deployment, after all. Try talking with some of the other soldiers and take your mind off matters. Excuse me. Yes, sir, I'll talk with the other people. Machos don't play favorites, roll your presence, they aren't picky about their prey. It's just true for us Red Wings, too, I suppose. You may be the Crown Prince of Baron, but it means nothing here in the ship. So I am a Prince of Baron. We are currently on our way to the Adam and Isle, a very small land nest in the middle of the ocean. It's a staging ground for your initiation trial and becoming a knight. It goes without saying, of course, how overjoyed your father Cecil is to see you finally taking on this task. So, things are unraveling. I am Seudor, the son of Cecil, the famous paladin from Final Fantasy IV. The Adam and I looks peaceful enough at first glance, I'll give you that. There's a grotto there, though, a holy land of sorts. All night trainees will visit there once. The Red Wings are the pride of Baron, the most elite of our kingdom forces. We, n we may not be at war, but our training regiment is as fierce and grueling as always. Your father, King Cecil, achieved knighthood by passing this trial himself. Did you know that he actually served as captain of the Red Wings before becoming king? So, Cecil is king, and I am the Prince of Baron. Cecil is the King of Baron. How are you feeling now, my lord? Better? Yes. I 
can certainly understand what you're going through, my lord. But considering your bloodline, there's nothing for you to be worried about. My bloodline? Yes, my lord, you have inherited the blood of two great heroes. King Caesar the Paladin and Queen Rose of the White Mage. Oh. That doesn't mean anything. I am just another soldier being tested for knighthood. Oh, how modest. Don't kid yourself, boy. You're no soldier yet. You're nothing but a squire. The Red Wings isn't the playground I was back in King Cecil's day. I know that. That's why I'm here today to... Ow! p p prince You've got a lot to learn, boys, starting with how to keep that mouth of yours shut. Well, a little trivia. Biggs and Wedge, uh, the developers for this game, they really liked Star Wars, so they used those names Biggs and Wedge in a, in, a, in a good bit of Final Fantasy games, actually. Anyway. Ready to touch down on the Ottoman Isle, Captain. Good. All hands, landing station. Yeah, you go ahead and land, and I'll sit here with my face flat on this wooden deck. I'm a prince. You can't treat me like that. Whatever. Here's our stop, Theodore, the Adamant Isle. You were to report to the village of Mithril up ahead and await further orders. Got it? Yes, sir. Can't hear you. Say it like you mean it, boy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Humph, as sorry as ever before. Now move out! Blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, what's over here? Even in the most tranquil lands, monsters may strike anywhere, anytime. If you're low on HP or MP, use that pot over there to get you back on your feet. Wish you the best of luck with your night trial, my lord. Cool, an HP MP pot. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, change some things up. Battle mode is going to be active. Battle speed is going to be fast. Battle message is fast. Window color. I like purple. Do you like purple? Well, I like purple. Gray. Is that gray? Oh, wow, gray. No, I want purple. That's red. Where's my purple? That's, that's, that's like hot pink. I want purple. Where's my purple? I don't want hot pink. I want purple. There's my purple. Let's, let's lighten up that purple a little. There we go. There we go. Language. Uh, oh, not return the title. I'm not doing that. Items. Use. Organize. Drop. Magic. Theodore. Cure spell. That's it. Whoops. Bands. Uh, I can play music. Cool. Equip. Broadsword, bronze shield, bronze arm, cool. Status, you six six five two. You suck. Party. Oh. Formation. Formation. You're four. Save. Cool. Saving is cool. cool battle. Floating eye and hell diver. Kill the hell diver. Uh -oh. Kill the hell dice. Yeah. Ow. Come on. Kill him, Theodore. I killed the floating eye. Ow. There we go. 19 gill and 122 experience earned. So you're gonna gain a level. Let's go heal. Alright, well. Let's go into town and do some stuff in town. I'm sure there's more stuff to do in there. Your mission in this trial is to obtain the knight's emblem housed deep inside the adamant isle grotto. There is one requirement, boy. You can't enter the grotto until the moon is at its fullest. You best get yourself ready before then, mentally and physically. Yes, sir. Is there any reason why I have to wait for the full moon, sir? Ha! So you don't know about that either. This is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. Whatever. The light from the moon casts its effects upon all the creatures of our blue planet. No monsters can escape from its influence, and neither can you, Prince Theodore. Black magic, white magic, even physical attacks are all affected by the phase of the moon. 
Remember this, the moon cycles between phases with the passage of time, my lord. You will need to adjust your battle tactics with the current phase to survive out on the field. What happens during a full moon? Black magic becomes stronger, but melee attacks are half as powerful. White magic is unaffected. So our swords become a liability during a full moon. Not necessarily. Our attack power is half, but that applies to the monsters as well. What's more, my lord, you are gifted with white magic from Queen Rosa. If your tactics match the current moon phase, then you will never be at a true disadvantage in battle. Now then, perhaps we could stay at the end until the full moon arrives. Start learning how to follow orders, boy. I told you to wait until the full moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, Prince Theodore Baron, we don't have very much here, but please make yourself at home. That's sweet of you, little midget. Remember, you can save anywhere you want on the field map, but it'll come in handy someday. Believe me, in Dungeons, though, you're only allowed to save at the special save points you'll find. That's just like the original Final Fantasy IV. Maybe it's because there's only one moon again, but tectonic activity has made this island a lot larger. Not that it's much compared to the big continents, of course. Alright, so after 30 years, these three guys are still in the exact same spot. Would you help our boss find his ring? Would you? Yeah. Hey, hey, we're the Mithril Brothers, and we're ready to rock, baby. We would be anyway if I hadn't lost my precious ring. Maybe I dropped it while I was resting in the tall grass. Aha, hint. Tall grass. Excuse me, little mouse thingy. Are you... What are you? Are you like a brown frog? Is that eyes or ears? That is... You're so weird. Found tent. I found the tent. There's always stuff hidden in brush in these games. You gotta look everywhere. There's something right here. Found ruby ring. Aha! Bet you that that's guy's... I bet you that is that guy's ring. There's something right here. Found potion. Alrighty then. Hey, hey, this is my ring. You actually found this for me. Thanks a bunch, man. I feel like a new pig. Great. Here's a little something for finding the ring. Go ahead, take it. I received 500 gil. Cool. You ready to see us rock or what? Oh, boy. Sure. Come on, brothers. Hello, Mithril. Check us out. There's a brand new dance just for you. Let's do it, boys. Oh, boy. What have I got myself into? Doing. I don't have to pay you for this, do I? I ain't paying. Oh yeah, great choreography. A midget, a frog, and a pig. I mean, that's the best dance troupe ever. Thank you, thank you, yeah, great. Great, thanks. Just wasted, like, 60 seconds of my life. There's nothing here. The guy who lives in the grotto has made a hobby out of collecting rare tales, I heard. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Some magic can be cast in your own party members on a whole group of monsters at once. Try pressing left or right in the control pad when choosing your target. I would like to buy a potion of phoenix down, a gold needle, a maiden's kiss, an eye drops, and not to do it. I... I don't want any of this, because I need to make sure that I have money for weapons and armor. King Cecil is a great man, would you agree? And as Queen Rosa is such a kind, beautiful woman, how I envy the king. Blah, 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 blah. Long sword. It's better than what I have. That up arrow means it's better. So we're going to buy it. That's right. And then we're going to equip it. And then we're going to sell the broadsword. So, didn't I get 500 gil? Oh, yeah, I did. And I just spent it. I just thought... Are you the guy from Baron who's here to become a knight and everything? Grotto's home to some fierce and monsters. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Red Wings is the name of the fleet, right? Not the airships. Ha, I totally knew that. I just gave a man voice to a little girl midget. Not right. Bronze shield, bronze helm. Bronze helm's the only thing that's... that I can... that's better than what I have. Oh, I don't even have bronze helm. That explains that. Alright, let's go... Let's go fight stuff. See, I'm not going to go ahead into the next part of the game until I am comfortable with my level and such. Also, the way this is going to work is I'm going to skip most battles when I'm grinding, but we're going to see all the different enemies 
that each area has to offer. I'm going to make sure of that. <laughs> 